Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Mardi Gras. Uh, so this evening, I thought I'd put Peter in the spotlight. Uh -huh. um, if you know us, you'll know he's the more talkative of the two of us. But if you watch our videos, I, seem, I seem to hog a lot of the limelight. So I thought I'd give him a, a, a bit of a spotlight today and just uh, see how he's been in the last 24 hours. I think when we last spoke to you, we were going out last night. Uh, and we were having dinner at the Bonsai Tep. So how was that for you? It was very good, very good. Um, met a few people there, obviously I like do because there's so many around the table. Um, very interesting, I've got to stop struck not giving advice. I made the seasick, I'd probably make people watch it this season. We can swing chair. Um, so it was very good. Um, and I think the price is probably not quite the same as we've had on other ships. But the, the, it's the same principle. Yeah. You know, a bit of entertainment. It's only very small, actually. There's only three tables. Yeah. So I don't know whether Carnival are just trying out the idea or what. I don't know. There's a lot of food, though, isn't there? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. I didn't even get through my rice. What did you have? I had shrimp and chicken. That, that's the only thing, I think. The, the, the choices that are available are, are very fixed. Yeah. You know, if it had been me, I'd have had Philip Mignon and chicken. But that wasn't an option. I'm sure you could have asked for it. I know you could, but, you know, let's not rock the boat. <laughs> So, and then after that, we just went, we had a few drinks. We were up quite late till midnight, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Where did we go? We ended, we ended up at Fortune Tellers. Yes, with people that we met with, because they said they were always in there. We hadn't followed them, I had to apologise, so I'm not stalking you. Uh, we just happened to be there. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, there's so, so much going on, it's hard to work out what to do. Yeah. Um, so yeah. today um, we've had a fun day at sea. Yes. Weather's been a lot more improved than yesterday. It was funny, I got up this morning and went, oh, it looks a lot better than all of a sudden we had a rain shower. Yeah, um, I think we've only had one, maybe two. Yeah. And I think today, obviously, because on what kind of we do is a sea day brunch. Yes. So that's extremely popular. So it's all about timing. Because we went, well, we got a table. Just after 9.30. Well, yeah, we got, well, I mean, we, we got it just after 9. Yeah. Um, by the time we came out, there was queues down the hall. Yeah. Because um, it goes on till 12.30. Yeah, and there's a lot more that you would normally get. Yeah, there's sea day brunch. There's steak and eggs, there's burgers. There's yeah, all sorts. All sorts, yeah. You know, uh, I still stuck to my normal breakfast, basically. Yeah, we did. You know, yeah. we said, do you want a dessert? No. Um, you know, and I always makes me laugh because by 12 o'clock, people are queuing up for lunch then. Yeah. It's like, ah! <laughs> and then we had lunch at... Where we gone? Blue Iguana Cafe. Oh, yeah, we thought we'd try the street eats. Well, no, I mean, Blue Iguana's on its own, but it's... it's, it's, it's I, class, I class all that yeah. area, street yeah. eats. So. Yeah, that was very nice. It's perfect if you just want a quick, snacky yes. lunch, isn't it? Yeah, and then there is all the street eats, loaded fries, there was a sizzle, which today was a kebab, and it changes that, I think, on a daily uh, basis. Yeah. Um, but again, the loaded fries were extremely popular. Yeah, I had the biggest queue of all the street yeah. eats. Yeah. Uh, so this afternoon we snoozed a bit. I read a bit of my book. We went up onto the back deck just for a cold beer. Yeah. And relax in the sunshine. It was a bit humid again, wasn't it? Yeah, it is a bit humid. I mean, I don't know. I must be getting old. I don't <laughs> know. I mean, but don't forget, there's just so many things going on. You know, even yeah. internally, there's Mardi Gras uh, competitions and all sorts going on. Yeah. So if you want to do that thing, it's never something not to do. Yeah. I so just like to relax. Yeah. We do. <laughs> so we're all dressed and ready to go out now. We're going to go for a few drinks at the uh, Havana Bar. Um, we've got dinner at Shebang. Now we've heard a few mixed reviews of this place. It's a Mexican Chinese, Chinese fusion restaurant. Yeah. We've heard some okay reviews, some bad reviews. Um, we've heard a couple of good ones. Yeah. But we just wanted to see what it was like for ourselves. Okay, basically, yeah, there's a Chinese menu and there's a Mexican menu, and you can mix the two together. Yeah. Uh, again, it's classed as complimentary for your first visit, a bit like Cucina del Capitano. Yeah. You go a second time, it's eight dollars a head. Yeah. And then later on tonight, there's an 80s glow party up on the Lido deck, so we'll probably attend that. Yes. Because we we didn't go better tonight. Yeah, we didn't go to the tiki bar until the end of that. So we will bring all that joy and frivolity to you later on. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.
Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Mardi Gras and our final night on board. Boo. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, it comes around quickly. At the start of the cruise, you know, oh, seven days, but yeah, yeah. soon passes. Um, just to say we've had a great seven days on board. Yeah. Um, very interesting to see this uh, this class of ship. Well, we've sailed on this class of ship, but it was nice to see what Carnival have done with it Carnival as opposed have, to P&L. Carnival have done. Um, we've loved it. I've enjoyed it. I yeah. really have. Everything food-wise, Ent mm, entertainment. We haven't really gone to any. We don't really do shows. Well, we so don't do a lot of entertainment, uh, so we can't really comment on that. Um, but we've seen quite a, 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 in passing. We've seen quite a few of the uh, events going on in the main theater. In the, what's that? Center stage. Center stage. We've yeah. seen. We've stopped there and watched what was going on, but we ha we haven't set foot in the main theater either to do one bus to drive. I know. Um, but we've seen lots of other things. Have been uh, you know. Sort of live music around. Yeah, we've seen lots of that, and it's been very good. Yeah. Um, we've Enjoyed a few of the parties up on the Lido deck. Again, I think we're maybe getting a bit too old for some of them. <laughs> well, I think it's the, the only problem with that is that they've only got the tiki bar downstairs serving. Yeah, and, and there's just not enough. And yet it's a two-story bar. Yeah. I think they'd have the, the top bit open. Especially when there's that many people yeah. on the deck. Exactly. Anyway, uh, apart from that, uh, we've noticed Carnival is a very... <laughs> noisy cruise line it can be yeah especially in certain parts i mean you can still find your quiet spots to yeah. to relax um but the leader deck is almost all the time is always loud disco pumping music up there yeah if you want to be on the Lido deck then you're prepared for that if not you find another quieter spot yeah simple yeah some good good areas on here we've liked the, most of the restaurants i think all the restaurants yeah we've got some really good experiences yeah yeah uh so some we've heard mixed reviews but we, we, enjoyed it. we enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, I say the only thing that we struggled with initially was breakfast, but once we reverted to eating in the main dining room, it was fine. Wasn't yeah, it? not a problem. And it, it's funny the sort of little differences, you know. Um, okay, you're not having freshly squeezed orange juice, but you get a big glass. Yeah. Some other lines you get like a thimble. Yeah. Um, the portions are, I think a lot bigger than some of the other lines. Yeah, so you're never hungry. No, you've no an excuse to be hungry. <laughs> no. so. uh, and there's so many places to, to grab something to eat, especially at lunch times. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we went back to uh, the Big Chicken today. Yeah. Um, and really enjoyed that. It was quieter than we were expecting. It was actually, but I think everybody today, Guy's Pig and Anchor. I'm just gonna swap my hand because it's getting tired. Uh, the guy, Guy's Pig and Anchor uh, was serving outside with all the, uh, smoked meats and that gets really popular yeah so yeah. We, but there's but still other things we didn't try i've not had a pizza i've not had a panini yeah and these are all things that are complimentary you could grab at lunchtime yeah so as i say we're gonna head out now for some drinks and then we're going back to the italian el capitano do you Cucina El del Capitano. <laughs> Things plastered over the wall, so I remember the names of the places. <laughs> yeah, because we enjoyed that the other night, so we're going back there to our, for our final meal on board. Uh, what time were we off in the morning? Um, I don't know. We've, it's funny the way they do it. You've got either early tags or late tags, um, so I don't know. But we've not. Got, we've got a car book for ten thirty, so we'll be fine. We're yeah. supposed to be off. Everybody's supposed to be off by nine thirty. Yeah. So, so that'll all be good fun in the morning. And then we pick the heart the high car wrap and then we drove back to Orlando we're staying the night at uh, Disney yeah Disney Caribbean Beach Resort yeah so we'll bring some of that to you yeah, uh, and just to let you know we are going back to Cucina tonight but this because it's our second visit this will be eight dollars a person yeah so thanks for watching and we'll get back to you soon bye bye